medical information that you would then perhaps act on, and that is the FDA's, one of their primary concerns here. Uh, and this is what they had to say in, in what was a really sort of scathing warning letter to 23andMe. Uh, they said some of the uses uh, for which the personal genome service is intended are particularly concerning. If the BRCA related risk assessment for breast or ovarian cancer reports a false positive, it could lead a patient to undergo prophylactic surgery, chemo prevention, intensive screening, or other morbidity inducing actions. This BRCA gene, same thing that Angelina Jolie had, famously wrote an op ed in the New York Times and, of course, got a double mastectomy as well. Yes, that's exactly right. So that's a problem is that, uh, and I should say, the FDA, what the FDA did is they worked with 23andMe over several years. They had hundreds of phone calls, 14 meetings. They said, just show us the data. Show us evidence that what you're saying is correct. And FDA said, oh, we will, we will. Don't worry. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. And after several years and hundreds of phone calls and emails, they never did. And the FDA finally said, look, we've given you a chance to show us either evidence for what you're saying that it's valid or you have to stop saying it. Right. Uh, but yes, the problem is people could freak out. People could uh, be told, you know, they have an increased rate of Alzheimer's disease or they'll have breast cancer. They may take action or they may be told, well, you don't have that gene, so you don't have to worry about it. And people may not screen themselves for breast cancer and end up getting it. So one has to be very careful with medical information that it's given through a professional in an appropriate way because it has lots of meaning and implications for people.